What a wonderful time to be alive. Hey, the Yellow River flooded again and destroyed all your crops. And also we're being raided by nomadic tribesmen. And also this period of Chinese history may be entirely mythical, meaning you may not even exist. Well, that would certainly explain the laser eyes. Now, apart from how weird it is that you have a ton of stepmoms and many of them would like to kill you, and also all of your friends are middle-aged dudes with no dongs, life's pretty all right. Hey, did you guys know there's been a drought out here for two years? Guys, check this out. Huh? Can you tell what it is yet? Ta-da! It's a little kitty cat. Look at her little ears. Kill them all. Right on. Kill them all. Hey guys, what's up? I see the capital is on fire. Also, I'm here with my army and I have the emperor with me. Wait a minute. The capital is on fire. I'm here with my army and I have the emperor. Screw you guys. I'm in charge. Actually. Yeah, that feels better. <gasps> Oh. <gasps> Lubu, betray me? No way, man. Never gonna happen. Oh, crap. He was so fat and oily, he kept on burning for days. Nice. Boohoo, Lubu was executed. And so now you have a number of kingdoms in China. How many? Count them. One, two, three. I've just received this letter that says Wei is planning to attack us. Should we make preparations for war? Nah, it's probably nothing to worry about. Let's do absolutely nothing. Sounds good to me. So I said to the Marquis de la Fufayette, What do you think I am? Some dirty peasant? I've never worked a day in my life. <laughs> oh, great. He's a freaking weirdo. Why? Why what? Why do the nobility get to be all rich and stuff? Just because they were born into it? And the rest of us schmucks just have to accept that? Hell, why do we even need a king? Who decided that? It all just seems very unfair and unequal. And I, for one, am starting to question it. Wow, that's very enlightened of you. <clears throat> oh no! About all that money we lent you. When can we get that back? Yep, you're a great guy. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Real glad I could help, friend, but about that money. You gotta go now, chum. Best of luck to you. Oh, no. Hey, my hair is about. Tax the poor. Tax the poor. We could do a sexy calendar shoot. Uh, I mean, tax the poor. Hey, your local priest here. Have you paid your church tithe yet? Well, at least this one is going to the good work of God. Sure. God. I think this year, God wants me to buy a new swimming pool. Yep. Salty. There's gonna be a tax for that. You really are a fat, ill-bred boy. You all get brand new Porsches. You get a Porsche. And you get a Porsche. And you get a Porsche. Everybody gets a Porsche. Anyone got any ideas? How about we all get Lamborghinis next time? We propose a motion that says the first two estates are a bunch of poo-poo heads. All in favor? All opposed? Two to one. It's official. We are not poo-poo heads. Haha, <laughs> I've locked you all out of your building. What are you gonna do about it? We'll probably go find a different building that isn't locked. Ow, no! Decided they should arm themselves. You see, what did I tell you? Clearly Governor Delaney has defeated them and has them on the run. No need to worry. Uh, your majesty, isn't that Governor Delaney's head on a pike? Well, Clearly, Governor Delaney has taken on the form of a bodiless pikehead deity, and the people are so enamored with him, they're parading him around the city. No need to worry at all. When Damn, you stuck his head on a pike? That's pretty hardcore. And we love it. Oh, hey, Mr. Squeaky. What are you doing down there? You're so cute. Aw, oh, I love you too, Mr. Squeaky. Mwah. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Kill them all. What are those things outside the palace? They're poor people, your majesty. That's poor people? They say they're hungry. Hungry? Then let them eat cake. Wow. See, this is the exact BS that led to this whole mess in the first place. You're so out of touch. They're writhing around in the filth, breaking their back to barely scrape by, and they come to you demanding just the basic ability to feed themselves, and you think a slice of cake will sort them out? Well, then let them eat Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supreme.
Wow. They're not that desperate. All right, Benny, we're in. Hey, isn't this kind of funny? You know, because you're a republic trying to overthrow an absolute monarchy, and I'm an absolute monarchy helping you? Like, like, could you imagine if your revolution inspired my people to revolt against me, and then they imprisoned me and all my family, and they chopped all of our heads off? Could you imagine? Hey, look who it is. It's my favorite revolutionaries. Yep, I'm your number one fan. What can I do for you? Hey, King Louis, so we've made a few decisions. First, all of your friends in the nobility are going to have to pay taxes the same as everyone else. Great idea. I love it. And as a side note, the tax money can no longer pay for all your lavish parties. Great. I hate those parties. They're so awkward. And also, we're taking away your Porsche. Oh, come on! I mean... Yay. Hey, guys. What's up? Where are you off to? We are but a collection of inconspicuous servants heading for the border for no particular reason at all. Say, you, the fat one, you look kind of familiar. Aren't you the king? Nope. Let me see your passport. It says here you're King Louis the Sixteenth. Nope, not me. Take him away, boys. And speaking of rolling heads, sire, the peasants, they're revolting. Oh, come on, that's a bit harsh. Sure, they smell a bit, but I wouldn't say they're revolting. Oh, yes, I see what you mean. Hey, honey, I'm home. Yeah, whatever, jerk. Whoa, what's wrong with you? You forgot. Forgot what? Everything. This entire year. My birthday was on the 3rd of Germinal. Our anniversary was the 12th of Thermidor. And you promised that in Freimer, we'd go on a romantic weekend trip to Venice. No, I said we'd do that in December. December hasn't been a thing for years. If you don't mind, I'd like to say a few words first. Gentlemen, I am innocent of everything of which I am acute. Wait, you're too loud. They can't hear me. Hang on, I haven't finished yet. Wait. Dude! Uncool. Really? That's what we're going with? Owls? Just because this guy can do an impression of one? Hit him with it, Jean. Hoot hoot. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. So where's that list of enemies you promised me? Here it is. Wait a minute. This isn't a list of enemies. It just says, yippee ki -yay, mother- <laughs> Well, you ain't seen nothing yet, son. Max, we're sending way too many people to the guillotine. To the guillotine! Chop, 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 chop. Hey, Robes P. So we were thinking that since things are finally going better, maybe we should rein in the terror. And while we're on it, we could possibly start taking it easier on the church and also try to end this costly war. Hmm. Oh, crap. Man, I think Robes Pierre is really starting to lose it. He thinks he's a god or something. Nonsense. Sure, he's gone a little extreme, but he doesn't think he's a god. My children, bathe your immortal souls in the virtue of my republic. Okay, yeah, he's completely lost it. I have in my hand a brand new list of enemies to be sent to the guillotine, and many of you are on this list, but I'm not going to tell you who yet. What do you think of that? I think we should send Robespierre to the guillotine first. All in favor? Oh, no. Say, Napoleon, sir, you're not going to leave us here stuck in Egypt and return to France, are you? Nonsense, my boy. I would never dream of abandoning my loyal soldiers. Wow, what's that over there? Hey, man, since you're so popular, do you want to help me stage a coup? Great idea. Let's stage a coup, and then I'll coup you. What? Hey, you. Yeah, you. The good news is, we've got a new bucket for this city well. He's the man with the plant, the host with the most. He's holy, lowly, he eats ravioli with the white cassock, matching pellegrina, and the most tasteful of fringed facias. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth? Wow, this is wild. Charlemagne, King of the Franks, I hereby crown you Emperor of the West. Oh, oh my goodness. I, I was not expecting this at all. What a surprise. I simply cannot accept. Oh. Okay then, I guess I'll just put this back over here. Give me that crown! Bishop of Frising, we want to thank you once again for visiting our wonderful city. It's been an honor. The pleasure is all mine. And what a wonderful tour it's been. I've seen the city walls, I've seen the towers, nothing could top that. Oh, couldn't it? Because we've saved the best for last. Ta-da! Ah, uh, yes, that's very interesting. Isn't it the greatest thing you've ever seen? Well, I mean, it is just a bucket. Get. Him. Out of here! 
Can we get rid of them? Who? All the nobility. Get rid of them and pick new ones who are loyal to me. You can't just remove noble families from their territory. Please? Aww. Okay, how about this? Yay! Now it's time to turn out the lights and go to sleep. Okay, I love you. Uh, okay, good night. Say it back. Perhaps we could come to some kind of... arrangement. How drunk are you? Very. All right, the results for the election of chief magistrate are in. Giovanni Cablami, 1%. Spaghetti Jeff, 2%. And the bucket, 1 trillion percent. I peed my pants. Okay, great talk. No one can judge me. Uh, old princes shall only kiss my feet. Only my name shall be spoken in the churches. My name is the only name in the world. Okay, I think you're done. I peed my pants again. Oonka, 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 oonka. My love, I can't bear it. We must be together. But how can we? My Ghibelline family wears feathers on the left side of their caps, and your Guelph family wears them on the right. My Ghibelline family cuts fruit straight down, and your Guelph family cuts fruit crosswise. These are arbitrary differences. We shouldn't let them tear us apart. We can be together no matter what our families think. Wonderful news. Let's make a toast to our love. I'll drink from my Ghibelline smooth goblet, and I shall drink from my Guelph chaste goblet. Get out of my sight, you dirty Pope-loving wench. Hey man, what's up? I've just come out to let you know that there's no need to see just because- Whoa, hey man, chill out. I'm trying to tell you- Whoa, stop doing that. I'm trying to tell you I'm actually secretly sympathetic to the Imperial cause and I want to willingly hand the fort over to you. Oh, cool, okay. Dude, what was that for? For betraying your people. And this is for joining mine. Mwah. Hey, wait a minute. Wh where's the bucket? Oh no, it's gone. Those modern knees must have taken it. We'll make them pay. This is unacceptable. They may take our lives. They may take our fort, but they will never take our bucket. Oh wait, here it is. I found it, guys. It's right here. Phew. Could you imagine if we started a war over that? That would have been really stupid. And there'd probably be a billion videos about it on YouTube one day. Thank goodness it never actually happened. Oh my gosh. Hey, check this out. No way! Are you kidding me? They're still using traditional wells! Hey you dumb Balinese, ever heard of an artesian well? You can't even get water out of the ground without using a stupid bucket. It's not a stupid bucket, it's a wonderful bucket! Yeah, whatever bucket boy, we're taking this with us. Ah! It's been a long day, and it's time to turn out the lights and go to sleep. Okay, I love you. Um, okay, good night. Say it back!